This conference will now be recorded. Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to lock or disable an operator from the designer studio. I am logging into the designer studio by using the admin credentials. Please note that I am doing all these operations from the Pega 8.6 version. OK, so version is very, very important because these features may be very depends upon the versions might be in Pega 7 version. This might be different and the future versions also it will be different. So that's why I'm telling you I am doing this operation from the Pega 8.6.0 version. OK, so before that, what is an operator An user? An user who logs into the Pega application, we call it as an operator in terms of Pega. Basically, operator is nothing but a user in the Pega terminology. So now I logged into this, this dev studio by using my credentials admin one, etc. And by default, the number of users who logs into the Pega application we can see that from the configure organization organization and operators by default uh, these many list of operators are available in the pega platform if you want you can disable or lock any operator from the dev studio so i am going to show you how to disable or lock an operator from the dev studio why should we lock and disable an operator? So let me tell you one scenario. For example, I have a two operators, operator A and operator B. Both are working on the SBI application. Now, after two months, after three months, operator A resigned from the company. So what shall we do? We no need to maintain the operator A login details or operator A operators details in the system what we have to do based on the confirmation because we should not maintain all the operators in the system sometimes uh, if any user or an operator migrated to the another application or if any user or operator resigned in a company or if any user or operator is no longer working in this project what we have to do we have to lock or we have to disable or we have to delete those operator ids from the system now in this video i am going to show you how to disable or lock an operator before that uh, i just want to create a one operator id how to create an operator id if you want you can create an operator id or else you can use any one of the existing operator ID. you can disable and lock it so i am going to create a new operator id or else i can use it as existing operator your wish I'm taking this admin one is an operator. OK, I'm just doing the save as. operator a operator a operator a i'm creating a new operator with the operator id as operator a
now full name test operator or email you can give it as a test op at the rate of gmail.com you can give it as an access group is same as sbi appl colon others because i'm going to create this operator for the sbi apple i'm not explaining all these details in the current video okay i will create a separate video to explain all these features just i want to update one password for this operator a password by default i am setting as a rules click on submit and click on save now log off let me log in with this newly created an operator id operator a password rules now operator a successfully logged into the system operator a successfully logged into the pega application now what i am going to do i am going to disable or lock this operator so for this i am logging with a different credentials open the specific operator record you want to lock or disable go to the organization operators operator a search a particular operator you want to disable or lock open the operator now go to the security tab now what i am going to do disable operator click on save disable an operator and click on save now try to log in with that operator after disable whether operator a log in into the system or not we will check it operator a password is rules now your account has been disabled contact your system administrator okay so in this way we can disable an operator now let me log in with my admin credentials open the operator record once again operator a click on search security or oh, see it is operator is disabled now you can see these disabled operators already i have explained in my one of the post in my blog but again i'm showing you in this video if you want you can see the disabled operators from the system settings click on urls go to the operator access tab now here see you can see that test operator is the disabled operators now here from here also if you want uh, you can disable or you can enable the operators now if you want you can disable additional operator for example if i want to disable one more operator you can do that from this screen or else um, what how we disabled an operator earlier similarly you can follow the same process if you want to disable for other operator as well but if you want to disable another operator also you can just click on disable additional operators add an operator give the operator credentials and click on submit so that you can also disable an operator from this interface as well so here you can see so from this interface you can see that list of disabled operator so if you want uh, you can enable the disabled operators if you want you can enable the disabled operators so by click on enable the selected operator for example now i want to select this particular operator and i want to enable these this operator so see this one see this note a new password will automatically be assigned to the pega shipped operators when they are enabled but this is not a pega shipped operator we have created our own operator okay now if i want to make it as 
enable this operator so you just click on enable the selected operator do you want to enable the selected operators click on submit okay now log off try to log in with uh, test operator test uh, sorry operator a password is rules now see this one if you want as per the security policies once an operator is enabled security policies require that you have to change your password now i'm just changing rules my current password is rules and the new password is rules one and rules one click on change password pega dev studio in this way you can enable the operator and in this way you can disable the operator and you can disable an operator in from the multiple screens from the operator screen as well as from the configure urls configure system settings from the url screen as well and you can also see that list of uh, disabled operators and you can select the appropriate of operator if you want to enable it i hope you understand how to disable or enable an operator from the designer studio thank you so much